we encourage you to take Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. So, kindly pray with me. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Word of God says in Acts 2 verse 21, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart, to be the Lord of my life, I receive everlasting life or eternal life into my spirit and according to the word of God which says in Romans 10 verse 9 that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead shall be saved I declare that I am saved I am born again I am a child of God, and I now have Jesus Christ dwelling in me. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In 1 John 4 verse 4. Now from today, I walk in the consciousness of my new life in Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Congratulations. You are now an official child of God. I want to give you a word for 20 minutes so that you know the mind of the spirit. So I'm picking it from do not let any man despise your youth. So tonight you are here because of Jesus. I know he wants to use me for you. But the Bible says do not let anyone despise your youth. Can you give it to me? Do not let any, anyone despise your youth. He said do not let anyone despise your youth but be an example unto the believers. You know what? He said in word in conversation, in charity, and he mentioned in spirit, and he mentioned in purity. So that is what we are taking from in word, in spirit. So we are picking from focusing on spirits. All right. So he says, let no man despise thy youth, but be thou an example of the believers. Example of the believers, an example is in word. The word of God will tell us that we are setting an example for somebody to follow our children and those around us because christians at antioch they didn't call themselves what christians but the people living there said these are christians because jesus has died and resurrected so in word he said in conversation the way you talk should you should be an example your talking your speech would tell somebody that you are really a christian you see in charity in love not charitable whatever giving something money whatever no but if we're expressing love, it's serious. And they say, say, what? In spirit, yeah. And in faith. And in what? In purity. So put that in your spirit. So I'm focusing. I'll pick anything from here next time. All right. So now we are focusing in spirit, which is walk in the spirit. So you need to increase your enthusiasm, your desire, your passion for the spiritual things. Because that is the only way as a Christian. Because if you are not a Christian, you are not being born again, then you don't need to consider spirituality. But since you have become a, a Christian, that is it. My son there, when he was about 14, he said that for about two months he hasn't read his Bible. So he felt some way. So when he started reading his Bible, he said now he, he could feel good. He was disturbed. And he couldn't tell me. Later on, he told me that he was just couldn't understand himself. He was not feeling well. Not that he was sick. Within him, there's no joy, whatever. And I said that because you have been born again, your spiritual food is not the food you eat physically. Your spiritual food is the word of God. And prayer you pray to feed in your spirit is God's word. So if your spirit is not fed, you become moody, depressed, oppressed. You are quick, tempered, and you are after the worldly things. And you pursue what the unbelievers wanted to pursue or are looking for. So when he began reading the Bible, he said, he could feel good. I said, maintain it. Maintain because you are feeding your spiritual growth. You're born again. You are born again. So born again, it, it, it demands God's word to be solid in the spirit. It's a gradual thing. It cannot be one way. So the only way out for you to walk in the spirit is to stay under God. Without walking in the spirit, the enemy can grab you and then can take you from light 
into darkness. Because many have become born again. They professed and took Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Now they are out of the system. They are not for God again. They are for the world. They are not really serving God. The Bible says, when the sower went out to sow, some fell in a good soil, a good ground, stony and rocky, and the roadside. He said, those that fell on where? Good soil. They grew up, but the rest, they hear the word, tomorrow is gone. So if you are here tonight, you are under Jesus. It shows that, yes, you are really working in the spirit, and you need more motivation to help you to keep on growing in the spirit. Hallelujah to Jesus. Thank you. So it is there. Walk in the spirit. Tell somebody, walk in the spirit. Tell somebody, walk in the spirit. And tell yourself, I'm going to walk in the spirit. Aha. So if you walk in the flesh, ah, that is the problem. There will be a war between your spirit and your body. Fresh. Fresh wanted to move this way. And your spirit will move on this way because the mind is thinking negative. The compass of the spirit, soul, and body is the mind. And if you use your mind well, it becomes spiritual. But if you don't use your mind well, then you need to begin to let the spirit of God lead you. Because your spirit should control your mind, your soul, and your mind, your soul should control your body. But if your spirit and your mind are controlling the body, that is the problem because the mind is subjected to the flesh. And if your soul comprises feelings, emotion, mind and will, if they focus or agree with the body, they fight the spirit, which is your what? Your spirit. And you, when, you, when these two things fight your, your spirit and your spirit is not strong, your soul and spirit will gain the war over your spirit and then you fall, you fornicate and you sin and then you, you are gone. Because you have subjected your spirit to the flesh, to the flesh things of the mind and also of the body. To be carnally minded is what? It's a spiritual dead. You are living physically but you are dead in the spirit and, and uh, within you becomes instant because light is off. Total darkness enters into you because you have sinned. Any sin is sin. Fornication and lying, they weigh the same. Stealing and gossip is the same thing. There is no sin in the Bible that is higher than the other. All sin are equal. So you can't gossip and say, I don't fornicate. It's the same thing. Same way, the same. All have sinned. They didn't say because you didn't do this. All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. So you need this to grow. And as we are ending the year, you need to maintain spirituality more than worldly things. Cars, money, they are all needful. But your consideration is focusing on the Holy Spirit more than that. If you are rooted in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will motivate you, will empower you and strengthen you. And later, you will begin to give you the things you are looking for. When you are forgotten about the wardrobe things, later God himself will be bringing them to you concerning marriage and any other turn. You see like that. So walk in the spirit. And we are going to go through Romans 5, Romans chapter 8 rather, to define walking in the spirit before we give you a few quotations to help you get rooted more in the things of the spirit by walking in the spirit. I have decided to walk in the spirit. And walking in the spirit is what? It's a decision. You need to decide. I'm not going to fornicate till my 200 years is over and I die and I go to heaven. I'm not going to fornicate. It. It's a decision. I'm not going to focus on any woman anywhere apart from my wife, for example. And even if I have a married, I'm not, I'm not going to focus what Bible is against it. It's a vow. You need to make a vow with God. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to do that. If you have sinned, you have come back. That is it. It's a because to live for God is a decision. And to go to heaven is what? A decision. And you compare heaven and hell. Had I know it's always at last. If you have died today, for, may God forbid, and you go to hell, you will not be happy. You say, oh, I didn't I decide. I didn't I decide. Because now there are a lot who go to hell than heaven. And Jesus also wanted us to see his banquet in heaven, plenty chairs and tables, rounded one, plenty of them. Just die and or Racha comes and you go and live in his kingdom and you see him, you see all, all the angels, and you see all those who have died and they are there and they put on white garment and it's a, it, the Bible says it's a holy city, it's a beautiful nation, it's a spiritual nation. All the instruments on earth are in heaven. Music, strong music, worship. Powerful. If you get it, ah, 
joy. There is no even sinism or Qatar in heaven. Nothing. Then you mention about heavy, heavy, heavy disease. You, you could think about. There's nothing like that. You see, there is no worry or thinking there. That city is full of light. No darkness at all. Every day is a day. Morning, afternoon is day. And joy. Eating and drinking. If, if you are there, you want to eat fufu and palm nut, whatever. You imagine and everything is ready. And you eat. When you eat, and then the thing will come and something will come and wash your hands and then the rest of fufu is gone. That's, that's heaven. Heaven is a beautiful place. So it is time to work on yourself. And if you go deeper, you see this world. When you get to certain realm, you begin to forsake this world. Though you are living, but your consideration, your focus is heaven, 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 heaven. So begin to leave heaven on it. Bring heaven down and leave heaven on it. And the palace. It. And, then, and then, then the kingdom of God has come to live in you. And when the kingdom of God is in you, the enemy can never stand you because you have made a vow, a decision to walk in the spirit. Come and say, I'm going to walk in the spirit. Thank you. So now, let's read Romans 8, 1 to 12, and I believe it will help you. I'm just reading. There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. So when you walk in the spirit, no condemnation. You should not allow anything to condemn you. Never. Even if doctor plays a tag of disease on you by their machine, you shouldn't accept it. Because there is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. Who walk not after the flesh, but what? After the spirit. Let's read on. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Can you check the sound for me? For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. So when you are walking in the spirit, you are being delivered from sin and death. Those who would die would die, but you, no way, because you are walking in. The, this is the, the benefit. The benefit to walk in the spirit is that sin can control you. The Bible says, Romans 6 14, it said that sin shall no more have, have what? Dominion over you, because you are walking in the spirit. And no dead can get you. You could see dead, they can never. I have been ministering deliverance and then desperate to will try years ago, try, come to my room years ago. Out, out. Oh, come on. And then. They went. They tried me years ago. Deliverance and people were getting breakthrough. I pray for a woman who came from Denver, Colorado, Ghanaian, fair colored woman with her, her husband. And he said they are looking for a baby. So a pastor in Denver, Colorado introduced me to them. So they came to Ghana. They had everything, riches, everything. They have opened this uh, African market, the big one there. And then they came and then I let them sit here. And I pray for the woman and release the anointing and bind and loose and say, Now I, I open your womb. Anointing was there, but ah, in the night when I went and slept, ah, I dreamed that I was pregnant with a goat. And I've given you, you are laughing, look at your face. And I, I've given birth to a goat. I've given birth to a goat and I just push it like the way women can push. And it came from my body and I woke up. So that day, I started fasting. I, I said, Lord, why? He said, because you pray for them. And then they have gotten the pregnancy. The, the enemy also threw what is hindering the womb to me. So if me, it means that if I was not strong in the spirit, something else could have happened to me. I hope you, you understand that. So I pray for them, and then she conceived that man. So she gave birth to two children, uh, two years. Two girls, two years. <laughs> so why that? I didn't go to US, but they came here to get a baby. Think about it. Because I'm working the spirits, and God is with me. That's the dream that I've conceived and I was giving birth. And I struggled to push and the baby came and it was a goat. And I woke up. Can you learn something out of that? That is it. So, like, through me, they got her children. So after maybe three years, she came again. Because I haven't heard of them. They used to so give me seeds, seeds, money, money, money gram, every month. When they left and she became pregnant. Because when she became pregnant, it attracted 
the NDC or MPP one guy called Rashid Bawa, Deputy Minister of Sport in NDC, whatever. All of them, all of them went to uh, Denver, Colorado for a party because the rich man has given birth to a baby girl. Think about it. So please. Let's consider this. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of what? So, which means working in the spirit is a law. Is that? For the law of the spirit of life. Spirit of life in Christ Jesus. The spirit of life is the Holy Spirit. And in Christ Jesus hath made me free from the law of sin and death. So, sin is dead. Sin is a law. And then also death is a law. And, and spirit of life also is a law in Christ Jesus. So when you walk in the spirit, you are walking in the law. And that law is the language in heaven. It's the language in the Holy Spirit. When you begin to decide that you are going to go this way, the Holy Spirit will also enable you to stand for God. Because those who stand for God, God does what? He stands for them. Those who boast with God, God also boasts with them. So it says, eh? let's go through again. Okay, no, number 3 to 12. For what the law could not do, and that it was weak through the flesh, the son. God sending his own son. Because when Jesus hadn't come, people were living on a world in sin. And that is the law. Dead. That is the law. So what the law could not do, for what the law could not do in that it was weak through flesh. So the law of sin and death is weak through flesh. Flesh can contain and carry sin and death. It, it, that sin and death can destroy the flesh. And the person is dead and gone. Sin and death can destroy the flesh. And then uh, pain, pain, pain. And the person decides to leave the body. And then he or she is gone. And, and the body is there. Because sin will destroy the body. Sin will destroy. I mean, death also will destroy the, the body. That's why you need to fight to remain in the spirit. So that you live and live longer. Because that's the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. For what the Lord could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God sending his, his own son. That's what God sending his own son in, in the likeness of sinful flesh. And for sin, condemned sin. What? What? In the flesh. So sin had been condemned at a place called a place of scar. Go, go to Jesus died on, on the cross. He said, Eli, Eli, Labat, Sabatani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Because God's, God took all the whole world's sin and placed on Jesus. So then, that, that was the time that the father left the son and the son fretted. That, my father, why have you left me? Because he and, and the father were one and have been one since the beginning of the creation. And after that, they came together because God, his sin, sin is like a, a toilet. It's reprobate. Stinking fish. It smells in the nose of God. That's what the Bible says, Isaiah 59 verse 1. It says, the, the hand of God is not short, now that he is a heavy. But our sins are separated us from, from God. And when we pray, God cannot hear. The only time God can hear your prayer is when you walk in the spirits. And God can hear your prayer. And many Christians pray, pray. Why did he come from Denver, Colorado, then, years ago? If he hadn't come, he could be as balling for all this while. So when I pray for them, I used to go through attacks years ago. Pray for people. Those days, deliverance, me not close here. And I used to go through, I couldn't sleep. I have to bind them and then go and they'll come again. I bind them. I don't know where they were coming from. And so some, some brother can stretch his son in my bedroom. He said, don't pray for her again. Don't pray for him again. So I'll pray for him or her again. This work is hard work. There are forces everywhere. But if God, if you are after God's own heart, the devil will never get to anywhere. Yeah. People come to church and whilst we are worshiping or we are even here in the word of God, she is just looking at the week and then doing something with her hand. The focus is not why he or she is here. The focus is not why she's here. She, 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 she's taking coming to church as fantasy and phantom phenomenon. But she doesn't fasten his or her sit by to get something out of why this man is standing here. He doesn't even care. And then we share grace. We go, we come, we go, we come one year. And then your life is still the same yesterday, today. And what? And forever. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's up to you. So let's go to number four. That the righteousness of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, but what? 
after that. So Jesus died to condemn sin and, and death so that he might fulfill the righteousness of the law because working in the spirit is the law. Uh, before God might be fulfilled in us who walk not after the flesh, because we, he said he sees that people have desired to walk in the spirit, but because the law of sin and death were existing, that is why Jesus also came to give us the emancipation, liberty, and then ability and power to overcome. I mean, to live for Him because He overcame sin for us by dying on the cross. Come and say, I have my liberty. Come and say, I have the power over sin. I have the power over death. I have the power over disease and sickness. So the power is your own hand. The power to live longer on earth is in your own hand. It's not in the hands of God. The power to live longer on earth is your own hand. And never use wrong food to destroy your body. Change your diet as you are aging 30, 40, 50. Change your diet. Change your diet. And eat good food. Like eagle. The last part of eagle is what? 120. Always catching her prey from where? From the sea. Doesn't it surprise with any animal kingdom? Nothing. It goes to the apogee, the mountain top. That's it. So you too, be selective when you are eating. The things that you eat will, will give nourishment to the body, so that the body will be empowered to live longer. Why is your spirit also is living longer? So you need knowledge. I have knowledge about food. I have knowledge about food. I've stayed here. They have knowledge about food. I have knowledge about exercise. I have knowledge about to sleep, six hours and more. I have knowledge. I have knowledge about Bible. I have knowledge about marriage, about children, about anointing, about holiness. I have knowledge. Not that because I'm a Christian, I can eat anything. No, you can eat anything, but just use wisdom. So that you live longer. Thank you. So let's go to number four. Number five, rather. All right. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh. That is it. But they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So you think about it. Let's go to number six. For to be carnal minded is dead. To become carnal, freshly, woman sheep, men sheep. Hey, look at her breast. This and that. Oh, you are wasting your time. It gets a fresh. And for, so for to be carnal minded is dead. But to be spiritually minded is life. And then you have your peace of mind because you are not considering the other things, watching video, TV, on your phone here and there. You watch good things. You are selective. This is nonsense. This is idiot. You watch good things. That's all. On your phone. You have the power to do the right thing. You have the power to decide that these friends, they are not called. They talk about women and men too much. So no, I, don't, I will not join the group. And then you separate. And then you have the power to live alone, to have your peace of mind. We trust you have been blessed by today's prophetic Bible study. We encourage you to take Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. So, kindly pray with me. O oh Lord God, I come to you in the name of Jesus Christ. The Word of God says in Acts 2 verse 21, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now, I ask Jesus to come into my heart to be the Lord of my life. I receive everlasting life or eternal life into my spirit. And according to the word of God, which says in Romans 10 verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and shall believe in thy heart that God had raised him from the dead, shall be saved. I declare that I am saved. I am born again. I am a child of God. And I now have Jesus Christ dwelling in me. And greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In 1 John 4 verse 4. Now from today, I walk in the consciousness of my new life in Jesus Christ. Praise be to God. Congratulations. You are now an official child of God.